Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to talk about an in the money ghetto put spread that I just purchased. Um, as you can see here, I'm up almost 900% on this position. Uh, pretty much what I did was I went bearish on QQQ. I was watching it and I just kind of, um, I had no idea it was going to drop this much. I would have thrown a lot more capital at it. But um, what I did was, um, you know, it's been pretty green this week. Uh, take that back. The last couple of days has been kind of green, but I was kind of bearish, you know, after especially the cost bait or the uh, the recent uh, federal interest rate rate hike. Um, I was kind of uh, pretty uh, pretty surprised about that hike. I mean, I definitely understand they're trying to battle inflation, but a a 75 basis point uh, move is definitely something um, that's something good to keep an eye out for. Um, but with that being said, I bought a deep in the money put. Um, it was right here. So it was about like 14 or $15 in the money expiring tomorrow. Um, as you can see here, it is the 320 put. I purchased that for around $1,400. I then sat on it for a couple minutes. Um, it was maybe five or 10 minutes. Um, and then I looked to lock in some profit and take some of that risk off the table. Um, and then I was looking at the option chain. I was looking for the 319, but I ended up making a little bit wider and I went to the 319. I'm sorry, 318. Um, and I sold that for a credit of 1380. Um, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate here what I did. This is on the Robinhood platform, but it's pretty much the same thing on all platforms. I purchased this. I let it drop. Um, you know, the strategy is very advanced, so be careful with buying single leg options. Understand your risk um, compared to just buying the debit spread at the same time. Um, but I bought it for fourteen hundred, and then I let it drop a little bit, and then I sold this one for thirteen eighty. Um, so my max profit. So uh, it would be a debit of 20 because I bought this for 1400 and I sold this one for 1380. Um, it looks like it's going to actually continue to drop even more. So I wish I would have, you know, held off a little bit longer. Um, but you know, that's okay. Um, whenever I have like this deep in the money options, I try to, you know, move pretty quickly, um, not get greedy because these things can move pretty quickly. Um, they have a pretty high, pretty high delta. Um, so yeah, so then I bought it for 20. So then you could see here, my max profit is 180 on a risk of $20. So I'm only risking $20. Um, and it would have to run up $15 by tomorrow for me to lose that $20. But that is a 900% return on my, my risk. So a very, uh, good situation to be in. I definitely like being in these types of plays um you know they don't all you know work out exactly like this you know timing is very important um i just got pretty lucky on this this side of the trade um where i bought it and it dipped significantly after purchasing that that short put all right guys i think that's it i just wanted to demonstrate um how i made or i guess the trade's not over yet um, but how I took on a position that gave me the upside potential of a 900% return on my risk. Um, so definitely do your own research before, you know, buying options, especially because they are very risky. Um, but yeah, just do your own research, um, you know, paper trade, this type of trading strategy is definitely a powerful one to know how to know how to use. Uh, but be careful because like I mentioned, it is a little bit different than buying like a spread because you buy a spread, you're purchasing it at, you know, the, the correct time, right? So like these are, you know, you're buying it at this set price compared to if you would buy this, buy the long and expect it to, to run up. But as we can see right now, it's not. Um, so you could have just been better off by entering the spread. Um, so that's kind of like what I'm talking about, talking about there. So, 
All right, guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to quickly show, you know, the trade that I took on this morning. It looks like it is actually going to continue to to dip. So I wish I would have held out a little bit longer, but you know that's okay. Profit is profit. Um, I wanted to take my risk off the table, and yeah, so that's that's that. All right, guys, please help us get to 1,000 subscribers. We're getting pretty close. We're in the 900s. Um, that would be a great help to get us to that number. That's a goal we're trying to hit um, in the next couple weeks to months. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.